Hello everyone, Jared Harding here with Zanger Folkman. And the Connect Leadership Summit is just days away. I'm really excited uh, for that event and looking forward to being with all of you. This today is a short instructional video on how to set up and use the one-to-one -one networking software uh, that we have for the conference. This is a really great tool. It's gonna help uh, you to connect with new individuals, receive invitations to meet with new people, and really maximize that networking time while we're together. So uh, what I'm showing you is done from my smartphone. I believe the smartphone is gonna be the easiest way to kind of use the platform. However, the process that I'll show you is exactly the same if you just use it uh, you know, on the internet on your computer. So there's nothing to download. Uh, this is all web-based. So what, where we begin is you should have received an email from us that invites you to get this whole process rolling. The subject line says book networking meetings now. Uh, and when you get into that email, you'll see what you see here, which is your username is your email address and your password is automatically generated by the system. So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and copy that password. And then if you click the yellow start networking button, that will take us to the website to be able to launch the software. So we'll jump over here. Um, it's auto populating my uh, admin login. So I'm gonna put in this test email that I did. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my password that was from the email and click login. Now the first time I'm logging in, it's going to ask me to update my profile. So it's gonna give you a few options here. You'll see the, that the, the picture space is empty. I'm gonna really encourage everybody to upload a picture. It's so helpful seeing who the other attendees are. You know who you're looking for when you've scheduled a networking meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead, come in here. Uh, we'll upload a, a halfway decent picture. And when you do that, it's also gonna give you the chance to be able to adjust the size so that you can fit, fit your beautiful face in there. Great, so we've added a picture. And then now I'm gonna go through and just validate my information. I've got my first and last name. Um, you can write in the, the city that you hail from. And so I'll go ahead and select Salt Lake City. Uh, my role for my test account, um, this would be your title, the company you work for. Then you have the option if you wanna write a little bit about you, if you wanna share a website, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's your LinkedIn URL, you can add that. The important part is we've got sections here where we're gonna ask for your interests in people strategy, organizational strategy, what are you interested in developing personally, and some fun things. These categories, when you select these boxes, become the filters that other people will use to sort the attendee list and find people that they would like to network with. Uh, and I'll show you how that goes. But for this purpose, for my profile, I'm gonna say, well, I'm interested in executive leadership development. I'm interested in learning technologies and coaching and feedback conversations. For organization strategy, now I'm interested in cultural shifts. I'm interested in innovation and organizational structure. And it says three or more. So you could select more than three if you'd like. Uh, for personal development interests, well, I'm interested in developing, you know, becoming more innovative. I'm interested in a strategic mindset and being a role model. And then under just for fun, uh, again, it just for fun. So I'm gonna say, well, I love sports. I love my family. I love the outdoors. And you know what? A um, little guilty pleasure here. I love me some sci-fi, okay? So then we're gonna go ahead and after you've done that, you're gonna click save uh, to save your profile takes just a second for this to upload and it will bring you back to the platform dashboard. So that's what we see here. We're in the, uh, the dashboard. At the bottom, you can see the three tabs, requests, my agenda, and sessions. So we're in the dashboard is in the request tab. And when you see this gray box, this sorts out all of your meetings. So it shows that I've received one meeting request. I've sent zero, accepted zero, canceled zero. Um, and I can view the attendee list here. So first let's take a look at the attendee list. I'll open up the attendee list and it allows me to use those same check boxes that we used in our profile to now sort attendees. So let's say, first thing I want to do, anyone else interested in executive leadership development, I can click that checkbox and then scroll down 
and it will now show all of the other attendees that are interested in executive leadership development. So out of the 80, 90 folks that are in the system, you know, I've got, it says 19 people here that are interested in executive leadership development. Now you can continue to add check boxes. So I say, well, I want someone that's, you know, executive leadership development. Let's say um, they're also interested in strategic mindset and they love sci-fi. So all three of those have to meet. Does anyone, two, two people, Pablo and B, uh, meet my, that exact criteria, right? So then now I, I can go and I can book a meeting with one of these people. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to then book a meeting. So the other thing that you can do is use the search right above the attendees. And you can search by name, by company name, by title uh, to try to sort through. So I'm just going to go through and look through. Oh, it's not going to let me use my test. That's fine. I'll get one of my colleagues. So I'm going to search for Tom. So Tom Harker. And to book the meeting, I'm going to select book meeting. And then the first thing I'm going to do is select the meeting day. Now, what you'll notice is that the dates are a little bit different. The company we've licensed this software from uh, is out of Europe. So it is day, month, and then year. So a little bit different than what we're used to here in the States. So you can pick either the fourth, uh, the fourth, the fifth, or the sixth. Uh, to, for my meeting time. So I'm going to, I know that um, on the fifth during that conference day, that's when I'd like to find a meeting time with Tom. Then it shows you all the available time slots available on the fifth. The other thing you'll notice about the time slots is that they are in military time. So once you get to 1300 hours, remember if you minus two hours, uh, then that'll be sort of the standard time. And right, that's one o'clock, 1420 to 1440 is 220 to 240. So then I'll select a time and I'll say, okay, this afternoon, I'd like to meet with Tom this afternoon at that 220 to, you know, 1420 to 1440 time slot. And then it has a table number. So then I'll go through and I'll see all of the available tables to me and we'll pick it. Now, there aren't actually literal tables in our venue. What we're going to do is have these numbers on the walls in the big conference room. So when I select the number five, if Tom accepts my meeting invitation, then at the, at the appointed time, we're going to see the number five on the wall. We'll meet over at the number five, and then we can find another place in the conference center to go sit down and, and chat with each other. So I've selected the time slot. I've selected the table. Then I can send Tom a message if I would like, just say, you know, hey, Tom, uh, love to chat. and then I can send that request to Tom. So then that's it. That's how you send, um, send a meeting. You can also see that you can send a message. So, you know, you can send private messages to any of the attendees in the conference as well um, during the event. So then now I'm gonna click, I, I scroll back up to the top, I'm gonna X out of my requests, and I'm gonna look at my dashboard again. So it shows here under sent a one. If I click that, it shows that I've sent that one invitation to Tom and it will populate all the invitations that you have sent that have not been accepted uh, at this point. Now you can see I've received an invitation from Jared Harding, what a guy. So when you receive an invitation, a couple things happen. You'll also get an email that says that you've received an invitation. And so if I were to go back to my email and take a look, it, the subject line reads, you have a meeting request. So it says, right, Jared test, this is my test account, but I received a request from Jared Harding. Tom will, would say, hey, Tom, you've received a meeting request from Jared Harding. Um, so then from your email, it allows you to click that, again, that yellow button to manage your meetings and be able to log back into your profile. Since we already have the profile up, um, I'm gonna go ahead and view this meeting. So this shows uh, that I received this meeting invitation. It came with a message. It said, hi, evil twin, we need to talk. Uh, indeed we do. So the time slot um, is on day uh, the fourth, which is the Monday. This is during the, the conference reception. And it's at 1700 to 1720. So five o'clock to 520 at, again, we're gonna meet at number 33. So if this looks good to me and, I, and, and the system doesn't allow you to overbook or double book, uh, so then I'm going to go ahead and click the circle to, to say that I accept that. Um, I can add a note back. 
and uh, just say, you know, indeed we do. And then click accept. And then when I do that, uh, it's going to accept the meeting and it will send a note back to whoever invited me that now I've accepted their meeting. Then what happens uh, down here, we're back at the dashboard view, which is the request tab. If I click the My Agenda tab, it will now show me all of the meetings that have been accepted that are confirmed. And so as of right now, I have the one meeting confirmed and you can organize this by date. You see that? So I can see, I can go through the fifth and I have no meetings on the fifth um, because I just accepted this one meeting so far on the fourth. Um, the last tab at the bottom, sessions, is, uh, is, is just an empty, you don't have to worry about sessions. This is if we were to have uploaded the entire agenda into the system, but that wasn't a feature we opted for. So the only two tabs that you need to worry about are my agenda, which will show you the meetings that are confirmed, and requests. Uh, this is the dashboard that shows you what um, any meeting requests you've received, any that you've sent that have been accepted, canceled, Etc. It also allows you again from there is here is where you would click view the attendee list and sort through and, and schedule your meetings. One other thing I want to point out is that here you can see by my agenda there's a download button. If you were to download your agenda, the nice thing for all of uh, us Americans is that it will convert the times and dates into our more familiar formats. So it just downloads as a PDF. So if for whatever reason you'd like to download that PDF and have it in the more familiar date and time structures, uh, that's, where, that's where you can do that. So we really encourage you to use this, uh, this networking app during the, the summit. I've used it personally before at other events I've attended. It's phenomenal. Uh, I feel like I'm a little bit more extroverted of a person anyway, but using a structure like this, I was able to meet so many more people and um, really leverage those conversations um, to add value, to add value to, to each other. Uh, so we encourage you to do this. Any questions you have, please reach out to me. I'm happy to um, help you out and help you get the most out of this particular piece of software. Uh, so again, uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, in just a week or so at the Connect Conference.